Now, the drug nomenclature include different types of names used in pharmacology. This includes chemical names and uh, generic names and brand names. So, we will discuss them one by one. First of all, we have chemical name. So, the chemical names of a drug simply denotes the chemical structure of a drug. So, it denotes the chemical structure of a drug. And uh, remember, they are not to be used in prescription. They are not used in prescription. They are simply important for the uh, chemist who are preparing the drug. So, an example is acetyl salicylic acid. So, acetyl salicylic acid is the chemical name for aspirin. Commonly, uh, we know aspirin or dispirin. And N-acetyl aminophenol is the chemical structure for paracetamol. So, these are concept of chemical name then we have generic name so what are generic name generic name are also known as non proprietary names so generic names are given by the competent scientific authority uh, and uh, these are relatively easier names and they can be used for prescriptions they are names given by competent scientific authority and they do need the active pharmacological gradient that can be used in prescription and remember it is uniform throughout the world now example is aspirin and paracetamol we know that aspirin uh, which has the chemical formula or structure acetyl salicylic acid so aspirin is a generic name it can be used in prescription we said that chemical name could not be used in prescription similarly paracetamol is also an example of uh, generic name then we have brand names also known as proprietary names so what are brand names so brand names are given by the manufacturer companies so different companies can give uh, names to the drug or uh, different names to the drugs so same generic name could have different brand names okay uh, for example and they are remember easy shorter to, and easy to recall for example panadol and calpol both are brand names for the same drug that is paracetamol so paracetamol is a generic name but uh, different companies has given it different names one company has given it the name of panadol another company has given it the name of calcol so there are different companies so they have given different names to the same drug so that is the concept of brand names are given by different brands or companies which manufacture the drugs it it shows their authority so that it is also known as proprietary names now to recall uh, again uh, we have uh, acetyl salicylic acid is an example of chemical name it denotes the chemical structure then we have aspirin aspirin contain acetyl salicylic acid but uh, aspirin is a shorter term and it is a generic name uh, that can be used in prescription and uh, dispirin ecoserine both are brand names now both are different brands so they have given different name one has given name dispirin other has ecoserine but bo both contain the active pharmacological gradient that is aspirin both contain aspirin but different brands has given it different names so they, they those are brand names similarly for paracetamol we can say that the chemical uh, name would be uh, n acetyl aminophenol the generic name or non proprietary name would be paracetamol and uh, panadol and calpol both are different brand names for the same drug that is paracetamol so that's the drug nomenclature and different names we used in uh, pharmacology